Okay, well, I got the book called Obasan, and this is the cover of the book. And before I get into the plot of the book, I really recommend this book to anyone who likes reading stories that are fiction and based on historic events, especially the troubles of what some people have gone through during the war. Obasan is also a very family-oriented kind of book. Obasan is written by Joy Kogawa, and this book is her actual story and what she had to go through and what her family had to go through being Japanese descendants during World War II. In Obasan, Joy conveys the devastating effects of silence that were placed upon Japanese Canadians. She also mentions some scenes of sexual abuse during her childhood. This takes place after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, also, this book changes from past to present, which makes it sometimes difficult to figure out whether she's talking about the past or the present. This book begins with a 36-year-old teacher, Naomi Nakane, receiving bad news that her uncle has died. She goes to visit her obasan, which is on in Japanese, but the real story really begins when they both go up into the attic, and Naomi starts to remember her own past, in the internment camp and how her mother disappeared one day without any explanation. She remembers her time in Slokin, but she still wasn't old enough to understand all the things that happened to her. Throughout her lifetime, she did not know what happened to her mother until she visited Obasan. Going through all the things that were in her aunt's attic, everything came back to her. She remembers her childhood, her mother, her beautiful house, and the neighbor that molested her. She remembered everything about her childhood that she wanted to forget. One horrible thing after the other just kept occurring in her life. Her father dies, when, then one day her family gets exiled, and then they're exiled from the place that they were exiled, because apparently one exile wasn't enough. Close to the end of the book, during her uncle's funeral, an old letter reveals the truth about Naomi's mom. The book ends where it begins. In her uncle's valley and looking at the river, in her uncle's valley and looking at the river and the flowers. <laughs> The beginning of the story may take a little while, considering that it's slightly slow, although the middle to the end of the book is very inter interesting. It was interesting to learn all the things that the people from the past had gone through. The one thing I really love about this book is, uh, is how detailed it is. The descriptions of the bombings that affected her family were really graphic, and Naomi's dreams are very descriptive, so you would be able to imagine it like it was right in front of you. Another unique thing I like about this book is the fact that they sometimes use Japanese language and translate it after the phrase. The only thing that I dislike about the book was how slow it was in the beginning, but overall, this book was very interesting. If I were you, I would pick up this book right now and start reading it because it is totally worth it.